Hello, you absolute legends. We've done it. We've made it through another year. And what a year it was. At the end of 2020, I had hoped that 2021 would be a better year for us all. And unfortunately, it's not obvious that ended up being the case. But still, this year definitely had its share of amazing moments. Classic games continue to be broken decades after release. After 21 years, a way to turn human within the first three-day cycle was found in Majora's Mask. This allowed runners to shatter the existing world record, beating the game in a mere 18 minutes. After 25 years, a major skip was found in Final Fantasy VII, where players found a way to bypass the Town of Calm, saving as much as 15 minutes. Both GoldenEye and Perfect Dark saw level-breaking strategies uncovered, as did Mario Kart 64. The N64 era of 3D games continues to deliver surprises year after year. Speedrunning spiritual sister No Hit Runs saw a massive surge in 2021 as well, with some amazing accomplishments being performed. In May, Unnamed took the honor of beating GTA V without taking any damage. In July, Margin Phil became the first to beat Majora's Mask, and in March, Dino Singil beat Demon Souls, Bloodborne, Dark Souls 1, Dark Souls 2, and Dark Souls 3 back to back without taking a single hit and without leveling up a single time. On YouTube, speedrunning continues to thrive. OG Summoning Salt celebrated the million sub milestone earlier in the year, but there are two channels that really took off and shined in 2021. The first is Virtual, who makes incredible speedrunning documentaries centered around the Trackmania franchise. He started the year on 65,000 subscribers and has increased that total tenfold, now sitting at over 700,000. The second channel absolutely stole the show this year, and that is none other than Easy Speezy, who is proving to the world that speedrunning is just plain fun no matter what level you are at. In October of 2020, Easy had only 10,000 subscribers and has had a monumental rise, now sitting at well over 1.7 million. A truly inspiring accomplishment. And of course, there was drama. And the highlight for me was being sued by the greatest video game player of all time, who definitely did not cheat or fabricate his accomplishments in any way. But without further ado, let's take a look at my top 5 speedrunning moments of 2021. I really hope you enjoy. Now, legends, please join me in thanking this video sponsor, Displate. Displate offers legendary metal posters that not only look awesome, but are also extremely easy to mount, requiring no tools and leaving no lasting marks. These artworks are created by really talented artists, and with 1.4 million artworks available, there are a ton of great options. My walls are starting to fill up with these things, and seriously, they make such a positive difference to my gaming room. Displate has official partnerships with the biggest gaming franchises including Doom, Elder Scrolls, Fallout, and tons more. So if you have a game or franchise that you really like, definitely pick one of these up. Displates look amazing, I really love having them on my walls, I really can't recommend them enough, and Displate are even allowing me to offer you up to 29% off your purchase. All you have to do is click the link in the description and the discount will be automatically applied. It's a really great deal, you don't want to miss it, so please click the link in the description. Super Mario 64 is a game that continues to shock me with each passing year. Somehow, some way, speedrunners manage to keep pushing the limits and are always finding ways to improve their gameplay. 2020 was arguably the biggest year in Mario 64 history, and 2021 managed to outdo it in every area. Every single major category had its world record broken, but what I find amazing is how quickly the movement evolved this year and how insane the speedruns are beginning to look. I mean, check out this movement from the 16 Star World record set by Ouija last month. If I didn't know where this footage came from, I would assume it was tool assisted. Or this technique and precision from the Zero Star World record set by Kano a few weeks ago. The fact that this kind of movement is now standard in top runs is just astounding. 
But for me, the top moment in Super Mario 64 this year was the runner Liam breaking a new minute barrier in the 120 star category, setting a time of 1 hour, 37 minutes and 53 seconds on the 7th of November. I didn't expect to see a time this fast for years. Even a single year earlier, 137 seemed like a dream. With the rate that Mario 64 is improving, it's possible we'll see other runners join Liam in the near future. But personally, I'm going to put my money on this record remaining the world record for some time to come. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my fucking god. No, dude. No. <laughs> Dude, what? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, dude. My heart is like. I just got a 137. It has been a crazy year for the competitive Trackmania scene. Back in June, I released a video covering a massive cheating scandal that involved quite a few players that were exposed for using slow motion to record their demos. Essentially, thanks to the work of the dedicated programmer Donadigo, new software was developed that allowed them to analyze demos more thoroughly. For the first time in history, they were able to take a look at the actual input players were performing during their runs. This resulted in many anomalies that could only be explained through cheating. And as I pointed out in my video, it isn't because Trackmania has a high percentage of cheaters that this scandal broke, but rather because the technology to detect cheating just hadn't been developed until now. But it's not the cheating that I've chosen as the number 4 top moment of 2021, it's what came afterwards. One of the biggest casualties of the scandal was the world record for the stage, AO1, on Trackmania Nations Forever. It was a time of 2383 achieved by Trebadia, and it was considered one of, if not the greatest world record in the game's history. Sadly, this record was a lie. It was created with illegal tools. However, this story doesn't have a bad ending. After so much spotlight and attention was placed again on this level and this particular record, a breakthrough was made. The player LX discovered a brand new optimization and was able to create an even faster tool-assisted speedrun than ever before. This was the first time a new method of playing this track had been found in a decade. Long story short, after hard work by several of the top runners, in particular Roland and Draka, the world record for the stage was destroyed by the new strategy. The record was taken down to a 23.81 achieved by Draka in July, beating one of the most prestigious records in the game's history that was ultimately achieved with cheats. This was a fantastic ending to an otherwise unsavory saga, and showed that even within the simplest of levels, there is always the potential to discover something new. Mario Kart 64 came out the same year as Super Mario 64, both in 1996. But when it comes to hardcore competition, it is way more ancient. Racing games facilitated speedrunning communities far easier and far earlier because everything was already timed within the game, which made scorekeeping simple. So by the time Super Mario 64 speedrunning got off the ground in the mid-2000s, people had already been optimizing Mario Kart 64 for a decade. Needless to say, after 25 years, the world records in Mario Kart 64 are extremely difficult and extremely precise, especially when it comes to the non-shortcut records, where the routes and strategies have remained much the same for many, many years. 
There are 16 tracks in the game, with each track allowing players to compete for both the full 3-lap time and the fastest lap time. This totals 32 world records up for grabs. Despite Mario 64 being so difficult at the top level, the thought of someone holding every single world record was surprisingly not a crazy one. In fact, the player Matthias Rustermeyer came agonizingly close on multiple occasions. If you haven't watched it, I highly recommend summoning Salt video covering Matthias' quest. While Matthias didn't quite achieve the elusive sweep, in 2021, the player Dan Burbank did. On the 9th of August, Dan tied the three-lap record on Sherbet Island, cementing the full 32 out of 32 possible records. Unfortunately, this event was also marred in some controversy, and sadly, Matthias retired several days later, citing unsportsmanlike behavior. But credit where credit is due, Dan Burbank was the one who finally managed to pull it off, and the achievement cannot be ignored. I did it, man. Let's go. 32 out of 32 records. It happened. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. Another tie. It like, might as well be like 32 ties, dude. I did it. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Oh my god, I actually did it. Back in 2018, the runner Cosmic became the first person to beat Super Mario Bros. in less than 4 minutes and 56 seconds. At the time, it seemed as if there was a real chance that this would be the final second barrier that would ever be broken. They were already extremely close to the theoretical limit, which is a time of 4.54.032, which is the fastest anyone has been able to produce, even using tools. A human attaining a time of 4.54 seemed pretty unlikely, but just like with Super Mario 64, in 2021, things just got taken to an entirely new level. Tricks and techniques that seemed not viable for a human to do in a real run started to become implemented. New and improved ways of performing existing theoretical strategies were crafted to make things just that little bit more feasible. By early 2021, the prospect of a 454 was no longer something that was even in doubt. It was essentially a certainty. It was simply a matter of time before someone was able to string together every trick into a single run. And on the 7th of April, it was Nivsky who broke the barrier, achieving a time of 4 minutes, 54 seconds, and 948 milliseconds. Saying this is probably considered blasphemy, especially coming from someone like me, but this may actually be the last second barrier for this game that a human will ever break. The world record can definitely go lower, and it's even been taken lower already, sitting at 4.54.881, achieved by Nivsky several weeks ago. But until something new is discovered in the game, 4.54 is where the world record will remain. Super Mario Bros. is one of the most iconic speedrunning games of all time, and Nivsky's 4.54 will go down as one of the all-time greats. AD, I think. Holy cow. Wait, what? 8F. Oh my god! Yes! Yes, dude! What? Oh my god! 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 I clutched it out! I stayed calm and it worked! Zero percent, my fucking ass cheeks. 
bitch! Dude. <laughs> what? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> oh my god oh my god guys clip that clip that clip that guys oh wait 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 guys i did it 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 In the past few years, I've discussed some pretty amazing strategies that speedrunners have managed to figure out and implement into speedruns. Many of them are so complex that even I fail to understand what is happening, even after watching videos or having them explained to me. I can sincerely say that there is a section of the speedrunning community that contains some of the smartest people you will ever meet, and what they do to break open games is incredible. But sometimes, a speedrunning community can be surprised and shocked when a brand new person comes out of nowhere with a game-breaking idea that the community simply missed. It's extremely rare, but it does happen. I've only seen it happen a few times, and it's always mind-blowing when a person revolutionizes a game without the aid of prior knowledge or the well of information that a community offers. And what happened this year in the Metal Gear Solid speedrunning community is even more shocking. Now, Metal Gear Solid was released in 1998. It's not a new game, and the speedrunning community has existed for a long time. By this point, they have already spent many years figuring out everything they can, and they definitely have a fantastic idea about the game's intricacies. And also, the reality is that almost everyone who is going to play the game already has. So the chances of a new player coming along that might accidentally find something is very low. And yet, unbelievably, that's exactly what happened. On the 14th of August, a streamer known as Boba was playing through the game for the very first time and out of sheer luck seemed to encounter a glitch that skipped a section of the game. Naturally, she had no idea what happened, but she knew this wasn't supposed to happen. So she posted the clip to her Twitter the next day. Again, I have to stress how unlikely this event is. It's a new casual player to a game that is 23 years old. They just happen to be streaming and recording. And they happen to have a big enough following so that when they tweeted about it, the speedrunning community found out. And on top of all of this, it had to be something that the speedrunning community themselves had missed for decades. I can't think of a single time that something remotely close to this has happened. Generally, if new strategies are found by outsiders, they are still at least attempting to speedrun the game. But this is a complete fluke. What's even more epic is that within hours of Boba tweeting about her glitch, the speedrunning community had not only figured out what had happened, but had also been able to find a way to consistently replicate it. Ultimately, this new find saved minutes and allowed runners to smash the existing world record. It was one of the craziest things I've ever seen, and is without a doubt, in my opinion, the top speedrunning moment of 2021. Let me in. Oh, I don't even remember my shit. What? Uh, help me? Help. Help? What happened? Hello? What? Are you fucking with me right now? Are you f what? It has been a crazy year, and I just want to give a massive thank you to you all for supporting the channel. You'll never appreciate how much of a positive impact you've all had on my life. My family and I have been truly blessed by your presence, and I sincerely hope the best for you all in the year to come. Thank you so much for watching, you absolute legends. I hope you're having a fantastic day, and I will see you in the next video.